This tutorial will introduce you to the Arctos Data Repository and is intended for those who are not using Arctos as a collection management system. Arctos is a consortium of museums that collaborate to serve data from both natural and cultural history collections. This means that while Arctos is a publicly searchable database, it is also the collection management system for the institutions in the consortium. Data from Arctos may also be served through data aggregators such as VertNet, SciNet, iDigBio, or GBIF. For more information about those data providers, visit their websites. Non-members will probably visit Arctos to search for data or specimens for research, so let's begin with the search options. This tutorial is nice, but you probably won't want to watch it over and over. So for future reference, you can visit the search help page. Here you will find links to quick tours, the list of Arctos collections, data licensing, use, and loan policies, and more. Exploring this page will help you understand how Arctos works, and it is a good place to start if you need help down the road. The next item on the search menu is Arctos Collections. This page lists the members of the Arctos Consortium and allows you to learn more about or search their various collections. You can select an institution by its code. But if you are uncertain of what the codes stand for, you can scroll through the list of collections. Note that each collection has its own unique description, loan policy, and data license. Always be aware of these when making use of Arctos data. After selecting a collection to search, you will be directed to the main Arctos search page. But note that the collection field has been limited to the one you selected on the prior page. Be aware that if you begin your search this way that any future searches you perform during this session will only search the collection you have chosen. If you want to search other collections or all of the collections, you need to return to the prior page or select portals from the main menu and then search all collections. Now you can see that you have multiple collections to select from. You can always return to the main Arctos page from the About item in the About Help dropdown. Our final stop in this tutorial is the Arctos Data Portal. This takes you to the main specimen search page. At the top, you can see how many records are available in Arctos at the current time. Any criteria that you enter into the search form will be applied to the entire Arctos Consortium, and the results will re return records from them all. Searching in Arctos can be as broad or as narrow as you wish depending upon the criteria entered into this form. You do not need to be logged in to search, but an account is required for downloading data and for saving searches. View the tutorial for creating an account when you are ready to save searches or download data. For more details on searching Arctos, you may want to visit the Arctos Quick Search Tour. Or you can watch our search tutorial. This has been a very brief introduction to Arctos. 
You may choose to play around from this point, review the Arctos help sites, or watch more tutorials. Either way, we hope that you find what you need.